students generally land up asking me how can i create career journey for myself in the field of finance or accounts after graduation so i'm going to break that down in this video hopefully it'll give you guys some insights and self reflection for yourself you're on the right track or not so before i jump into it if this is the first time you're visiting the channel please hit subscribe and if you find value in this video then please do click a like all right first thing is you got to know the difference between finance and accounts don't be open to both because both mean different and if you are open to both then at least be sure that you know the meaning of finance and accounts so we made a detailed video on the difference between finance and accounts but the gist of it is finance is all about money it's all about acquiring managing and deploying money and this includes everything from the financial markets which includes things on investments it includes personal finance and if you're working for a corporate it's all about the money game it's all about when do you actually look at investing in assets what is the cost from capital to every single aspect of income and expense essentially that is to do with finance accounts keeping track of everything that happens with finance analyzing it to make better decisions first of all with that you might like one over the other or you might be too young to figure out the difference even after i explain it in which case you can be open to both now what do you do if you want to start your career in the field of finance and let's say you're in college right now first of all you got to make sure that you study something parallel to whatever you're studying in your college so whether it's your bcom whether it's your bba whether it's your bms study something as you guys know right we obviously are huge advocates of acca cfa cma cpa ifrs qualification but i would also recommend whether it's ca whether it's a short course whether it's something on the lines of frm whether it's on the lines of cfp do something in college that's one and if you have the ability take up as many internships could be something basic also and second also make sure that you try and gain as many internships as you possibly can it will make a massive difference by the end of your graduation let's say you've completed your graduation and at that time you're looking at watching this video then first of all you got to take up any form of any any role that you get in the field of finance or accounts don't do a very basic role you'll have to struggle a little and simultaneously you need to pick up something now it could be again an online course but if you're a graduate you don't have any experience in your on your cv then my recommendation is take up some known qualification i'm assuming if time is your primary cause of concern take up something on the lines of cma us or frm because they are shorter in nature or you can do level 1 of cfa uh, because that can take you 6 odd months or you can take up let's say you know maybe you can start the skill level of acca basically there are all these ways that you can pick up some existing qualification pursue it in a short period 6 months to a year simultaneously looking for a, a job and taking anything knowing that at the end of a year you'll have some qualification to stand upon and be ready to take a jump into some a role that is on the trajectory that you want to get into so you'll need to have something academic as well as some form of experience to help you with your first good role uh before that do whatever you need to work anywhere work i've worked in a cfa for 2 to 1 1/2 years you know it's not something that everybody enjoys including me but it did give me a very powerful foundation for entering into the field of finance and accounts beyond that guys i've made again videos on how do you really network uh, go all out keep a cv of yours digital and updated all the time send it to every person that you possibly can you must make a a goal for yourself that in 3 months you're going to find that's 90 days so take approximately 100 days in 100 days you're going to try and find one reference any how per day and you're going to send them your cv and don't give up on them till the 100 days are over because the result will only come to good the end not in the first 50 60 70 days but do this and and you'll see the power of how you can actually enter the field of your choice where you're juggling so many things at once you're juggling what academic qualification to take up how do you build basic experience how do you network how do you ensure that you send your cv every single place that you possibly can platforms like linkedin of course and lastly talk to a lot of people who are in the field of finance by understanding what is it that they do what does it take in today's world to get into the basic role what are the top companies today that are ready to take people of your profile your candidature and go all out in achieving uh, trying to back those roles i think that it's quite manageable now if you give yourself a realistic time frame so i think yeah like i said 100 days is good enough first few months might not be exactly what you want but you do all of this together by the end of a year you hopefully will be on track to whatever role that you are looking forward to